Whew. It is cold and windy out here, people. <laughs> Got our struggle whisk here. Hey friends, hey, welcome back to the Expeditionary Johnny channel. Well, as you can see, I am here at Chaco Hills. I'm, uh, it is a cold Nebraska day. We're in our 20s, uh, not very sunny. We got a whole lot of clouds. Uh, so I had to bundle up a little bit more today. Uh, we're gonna do a walk around of the lake. I figure this time of year is a good time to try out recipes, try out equipment. So, and also maybe show you guys someplace different here. All right, so if you can see behind me, we've got a uh, frozen lake there. So uh, let me give you a look around and uh, we'll start our, our hike, okay? Whew, it is cold and windy out here, people. give you guys a view of our tour so you can see the lake extends that way that's east so let's get going here I'm going to start with the wind to my back right now I need to get a few strides in to start warming up and uh, that way when I start going into the wind at least I'll have the blood going there and if I have to I'll Use this here, uh, what, shemag, kind of put over my cheeks to uh, protect myself a little bit from the wind. So one of the things we're going to do today is uh, try out some equipment and some food. I'm going to be making a, uh, a potato soup. I got it from a, a package kit, you know, uh, just a little dry kit I got from Walmart. Earlier today, I went ahead and broke it up into smaller portions uh, so it'll feed just me instead of for the whole family. Uh, I'm going to be using some of my uh, DIY homemade little alcohol stove. I'm going to put that inside my firebox stove. I'm going to use the firebox as my windbreak today. wasn't sure if I'd be get, finding any, any uh, tree branches today. So I figured let's just go ahead and use what I know works. That's where we're headed, folks. For now, i got to walk this way. Well, I have to give props to the uh, the state park system here. They tell me exactly what this tree is. So this would be a Colorado blue spruce. Try to give you a good look at the bark here. All right, turning right, headed to the bridge. All right, so we've gone about a mile. I've made it here to the bridge and we're gonna go ahead and cross that. Uh, I think this is maybe a five mile loop. We'll find out. I'll check it out here at the end. But let's go across the bridge. Wow, look how far back that water receded. I really hope we get some uh, snow and rain this year. So I have to say this section of the trail is not nearly as uh, cold and windy as I was expecting. You can see there's a bit of trees on either side, so it's making for comfortable walking. All right, so now we've reached the point where uh, you can load and unload your, your boats into the lake there. Life jackets, life jackets required, it says. Yeah, no boats going out there today. All right, for my good friend Jamie from uh, Lower Michigan, uh, brother is like this if I'm ever going to do a stealth camp. This looks like a pretty good possibility We'll see. We'll, we'll see what I can manage So it looks like I can take this path here through the, the woods here the see these cedar trees and uh, It'll come out get me back to the paved road again. So let's go through here There we go nice Oh, yeah, this is all right and you can see if you want to go fish, you can go fish down there.
All right, now that I walk through here, I ain't gonna work for stealth camping. But I'll keep looking, Jamie, I'll keep looking. See all of that out there? It looks like corn dogs. Those are uh, cattails. And that can be found in wet regions. And see how it's kind of starting to fluff up there, breaking out? That makes really good flash, or really good flash tinder material. So if you ever decide to start a fire using cattail, just know that you gotta fluff it up. It's only going to flash, so you want to mix it in with some like grassy stuff as well. And uh, here, let me include a link on how to do that. All right, so here's a nice surprise. Two weeks in a row, I've taken hikes around lakes and I've run across mullein, which my, from my understanding is good for using for a hand drill. I haven't done that yet. I've practiced a little bit and I picked up a little bit of my last hike. So we'll see if I can get that uh, figured out here over the next month or two. But I've always heard that it was by bodies of water and well, here it is. Oh wow. Is this what I think I'm seeing? Look at all that deer. I think this is about as good as I'm gonna get a shot of these guys. All right, so there's the whole lake behind us. So uh, let's keep walking around. Let's see if I can find a spot. Let's make us some uh, potato soup. And here we have the very common honey locust tree here. We got. Yeah, we got a lot of locust trees out here. It's the black locust you gotta be careful of. They got a lot of pointy things on them. Okay, I think I found where we're gonna have our uh, soup. All right, so we've got a nice opening here. All the trees are blocking the wind. While it's not a spectacular view of the lake, we at least get to see that and see some trees and stuff. So this will be all right. All right, so now that I'm going to be stationary, I had to change caps. I had to get rid of the ball cap. I need to protect the ears. So uh, I've got this little toque from uh, Rebecca, touched by yarn. If you don't know her, you should check her out. She's a real sweetheart. She uh, pops up on the different lives, and she's been making all these, uh, these caps, these beanies for her different members here. So I was honored that she decided to make me one. And boy am I grateful it's really nice and warm on a cold day like this all right so let's go ahead and get going here all right so I've got my handy dandy firebox stove here and uh, we're gonna be using this one for the windbreak today because uh, it's not bad at the moment uh, but it could snuff out or cut, the wind could cause problems I'm gonna be using a, a homemade alcohol stove that I made from a couple soda cans and if you're interested in learning how to do that here's a a link uh, on when I made that I don't know what two years ago so we so we have our DIY alcohol stove that I made out of soda cans now I'm gonna put that inside here in the middle of the firebox stove and uh, we're gonna use these other skewers to place my water cup on there and as the uh, name implies Alcohol stoves run off of alcohol, so I'm using denatured alcohol because it burns so much cleaner. All right, and that's lit. It's going to be an invisible flame. So we're going to wait for it to bloom out a little bit. And uh, let's go ahead and get our water going. For today, I need 16 ounces, and on this one, this water cup, it does measure out 16 in ounces on the inside there. All right. I'm just going to put that on there. And I, I had that, it's about an inch above the flame. So that's what it works best. So we'll see how it goes. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but see how... The uh, alcohol stove is in full bloom now, so uh, it's going to be uh, heating up pretty quickly now. I think that firebox is going to do a nice job blocking a lot of the wind. Okay, we're getting pretty close to a boil, and since I know this is safe water, um, I'm going to go ahead and add in our potato soup to this. 
And let's let that simmer a little bit. Got our struggle whisk here. Let's get that stirred up. Let's let that simmer for a little bit. Let it come back. And we're gonna give it a taste test. Okay, soup is done. All right, so I've been uh, working on the soup for a little bit. It's been a cold day. I've been uh, using this little uh, a small silicone, or uh, yeah, silicone spatula to kind of keep stirring it so nothing sticks to the bottom. I'm really glad I added the soup before it got up to a full boil because once I did, uh, then I had a little trouble keeping it from overflowing, which you know you can kind of see it got away from me a little bit, but it turned out it turned out to be a good cook. Um, kind of it was fun using the alcohol stove. It had been a minute or two since I've done that. Uh, it's kind of neat alternative to uh, like harvesting some wood out here, even though that is more fun to do. Uh, but hey, let's try this out. Mm -mm. Oh, that's all right. That's good. It's been a while since I've had this. So yeah, it's a uh, very potatoey. They've added some parsley. Mm. Oh, this is going to hit the spot. It is a really cold day out here. So I'm gonna enjoy this. So hey, I hope this inspires you guys. Just because it's winter doesn't mean that you can't get out. Matter of fact, in my opinion, this is the perfect time to get out and try different things. Try different recipes, check out your local areas, check out uh, equipment. Doesn't have to be a long excursion, but just get out there. All right, well, hey, I hope, hope uh, this inspires you guys and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.